If you want to know how to actually get a guy to miss you, whether it is your ex or maybe even a guy that you're dating at the moment, but he's pulled back a little bit, then stick with me because I'm going to give you six easy ways that you can put into practice right now to get him to think about you and miss you. Hey everyone, I'm Renee Slansky. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my bedroom, as you can see. Okay, now ultimately we want to make sure that the person that we're dating is invested into us and sometimes they pull back or sometimes they break up with us. But those feelings that we have for them don't stop and we want to know how to actually get them to think about you and how to get them to miss you and ultimately want you back. Now, if you're also wanting to know how to get a guy to commit because that's usually the path that we want to head down, then I want you to see Simply register for my free masterclass on how to get a guy to commit. All you need to do is click the link in the bio below and you can watch that at your own leisure. Do bring a notepad and pen because I promise you that in that masterclass there are some amazing takeaways and some really cool exercises that I will be getting you to do. Okay, let's talk about how to get a guy to miss you. Basically, there are six ways and here they are now. Number six, stop being so available. One of my number one rules that I tell every single woman that I ever work with is that men need chase in a relationship. This doesn't mean game playing. It doesn't mean that you have to constantly feel that you have to walk on eggshells to get him to chase you for the rest of your life. This is simply about not being 100% available to him, even when you're married to him. You need to understand that in order for a man to actually want to continue to invest in you and think about you, he needs to do and know one thing, and that is how he actually feels about himself when he is with you, okay? That is literally the ultimate secret on how to get a guy to commit. If he doesn't feel good about himself when he is with you because his needs aren't being met or because he doesn't feel that you're adding value to who he is as a person and helping him grow and become more, and be more masculine, then really he's not going to see any sort of value with continuing to put effort into you or the relationship that you're building. Men need chase. Men are biologically, scientifically, physically, mentally, emotionally, however you want to say it, they are built to actually crave chasing women. So if you want him to chase you, then all you need to do is actually step back and give him a little bit of room to be able to do that. We as women want a man to pursue us. We want him to woo us. We want him to romance us. And if he's not doing that, then chances are it's because you've actually not given him an opportunity to do that. So one of the easiest ways to get him to think about you, to miss you, is simply to not be so available. Now that means not be so available when you meet up with him, but also not so available when it comes to responding to his texts or messages as well. Give it a little bit of time. This isn't about playing games. This is about understanding what it is that men need in order to feel fulfilled and in order to be even more attracted to you and then simply doing that. Number five, be mysterious and don't overshare your life. Okay, I will say this. When a man is pursuing a woman, he wants to know that there is some sort of challenge there. And the best way to give a healthy sort of challenge that he can be you know, attracted to is simply by being curious and offering him some mystery so that he's got something to work out and something to overcome. Now, the way that we do that is simply by not being so available, but not oversharing everything and not giving everything away, making him work for it a little bit. Again, it's not about playing games. It means that you're just not choosing to reveal certain things or you're not revealing everything at once because you understand that he actually thrives off working you out piece by piece at a time. Now, an easy way that you can do that is simply through uh, your responses to him. For example, if he says, hey, babe, uh, what are you doing this Friday night? And he seems really blasé and he hasn't really been texting you much and he hasn't really locked in any plans. Then you might say, oh, sorry, I'm actually uh, going out this Friday night. And you leave it at that. You don't tell him that you're going out with only your girlfriends and you're just staying at home and drinking coffee and watching Bridget Jones. No, you just tell him a kind of a really ambiguous sort of statement so that that gets him thinking, hang on a second, is she going out with another guy? Is she hanging out with different friends? Is she having fun without me? What is she doing that she doesn't really want to tell me everything? Okay, you want him to be asking questions. And the only way he's going to be asking questions is if you actually, again, give him an opportunity to ask questions because you haven't revealed everything altogether.
Number four, highlight your life. Okay, another major thing that men find really attractive in a woman is when you're able to actually come across as someone who is really fun and really enjoyable to be around. Men will know that the woman that they are dating or falling in love with or committing to are women who are able to bring ease into their life and adventure because naturally that is what men crave. So if you're coming across as too high maintenance or too boring or basically that you're only hanging around for him and you're constantly waiting on your phone until he actually messages you, then he's just going to assume that you're always going to be there so that no matter what he does, he can get away with it. And he's not going to find you as interesting because you're not coming across as an interesting person. Now, social media is a great way to start to highlight yourself in such a way that you're having a great time all through your conversation. This isn't about, you know, pretending that you're having this amazing time. What you want to do is you just want to only reveal the good times that you're having. Whether it is you went for a hike with your girlfriend, whether it is you went rock climbing, whether it is you went and had a great time, maybe it's pictures of you laughing and smiling. You want to show him that you are totally thriving, that you are totally having fun without him even in the picture so that he starts to think, well, hang on a second. No, she still needs me. I need to work now even harder because I want to prove to her that she does need me and that I can make her life fun as well. Number three, stop initiating communication. All right, again, this comes down to the whole chasing. If you want a guy to miss you, if you really want him to start chasing you again, then you have to give him room to be able to do that. If you are constantly there every single time, always texting him, always chasing after him, he's going to assume that you're always going to be there and that means that he's going to have the benefits of what you're giving him without the actual commitment or effort that he is putting into it, okay? And we don't want to do that because what we're doing is we're rewarding negative behavior and hence we're always going to get a negative sort of result. So that means don't text straight away. It doesn't mean that you're playing games. Again, all it is is making sure that you're not rearranging your whole schedule or dropping everything just so that you can text back to him. Again, make him wonder what it is that you're doing. Make him wonder why you're so busy. Make him wonder, you know, why isn't she available to me all the time? Give him that chase that he actually needs through messaging simply by not responding straight away. Or when you do respond, don't go into lengthy text messages messages and overkill and oversharing and justifying why you didn't answer. No, let him let him think about it. Let him wonder. Let him actually stop and go, well, hang on a second. Maybe I need to actually put in a little bit more effort because she's drawing back from me. And that's what you want to do. You want to kind of flip the tables here because if he is drawing back from you, hence why you're wanting him to miss you, what you need to do is you kind of need to take the power back. And the only way you're going to do that is if you stop chasing him, if you draw that line in the, stand, in the sand, rather, and you actually start doing the things that you know are going to trigger him to start thinking about you even more. Number two, put yourself first. I think when we are craving someone or when a guy's pulled back from us, we go into this panic mode where we don't want to lose them and we really haven't stopped feeling what it is that we do feel for them. And so we want to know how to get that back. We want that certainty again. We want that commitment because it's this awful sort of limbo feeling that we get into. So what we do is we put all our focus on this guy instead of just understanding that right in that moment, the best thing that you can actually do is put more focus on yourself because what that does is it means you again take the power back and you understand that your happiness and your joy doesn't have to come from that man and that any sort of energy that you're putting into um, this situation is going to get a much bigger reward if that energy first goes into yourself. It's also going to give you balance and perspective on what it is that you need or should be doing because you won't be striving to get him back and you won't be coming from this place of fear or lack of not having him in your life, um, which can really make you do silly things um, or come across as desperate. Instead, if you're putting energy back into yourself and you're focusing on yourself, your own goals, your purpose, your own self-esteem, and your own self-love. You're going to build your confidence more and it also means that you're not going to be emotionally reacting out of the situation as well. 
Plus, if he actually sees you as someone who is able to thrive without him, he's going to want you even more because he's going to see you as a woman who doesn't need him. And remember, once again, one of the major things that men want to know is that he is needed and he'll do anything to try and prove that, including putting more effort in to convince you of that. And number one, connect with him emotionally. Okay, girls, it's really important if you're going to have a conversation with a guy and you know, you really want to make sure that when you do chat with him, that you're able to trigger certain things that makes him miss you, okay, and connect with you in some sort of way. So whether he's going through a stressful time at work, hence why he's kind of pulled back and that's become his focus, you want to actually show that you're able to support him, that you understand, that you're there to listen and not lecture him or nag him, okay? In these sort of moments, the key is really about coming across as this high value woman who is able to add more to his life that he realizes he's better with you than he is without you. Remember, as I said at the beginning of this video, the number one thing that men need in order to be able to be with a woman, invest in a woman and commit to a woman is he needs to know that when he's with you, he's actually a better man and he feels better about himself. So if you can connect with him emotionally, either giving him safety to be vulnerable or maybe reminiscing about some sort of uh, really nice memories that you guys would have had, okay? Or again, supporting him through whatever sort of rough time that he might be going through, then he's going to see you as a woman who understands him and as a woman that is something more than just, you know, uh, a girl that he was with. He's going to actually see you as a woman that he really, really had something with. Okay, girls, well, those are your six tips for how to get a guy to miss you. Now, if you're wanting to know how to get a guy to ultimately commit to you and what it actually takes to make that happen, then don't forget to register for my free coaching class, which I've put in the link below. You can get instant access to that. As I said, I have, you know, coaching exercises in there that I get you to do. And I also give you some amazing truth bombs and knowledge on how men work and what it is that they ultimately need to commit to a woman. It's completely free. It's all there for you guys. All you need to do is click the link in the bio. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. And of course, comment down below what sort of videos you want to see in order for me to be able to choose one and do a video just for you on my YouTube channel. Until next time, bye for now.